Hello, my name is Celito Rodriguez and this is my presentation for GRC 541, uh, preparing for a scholarly writing. Uh, the question that I want to answer in my project is how can Bitcoin disrupt traditional banking? And the main reason why I chose this topic is because um, even though I have been in technology for a long time and I have read a, a lot about Bitcoin, I, I still don't have a clear understanding exactly what it is, how it works, and how, according to many experts, it has the potential to kind of disrupt uh, traditional banking. What is the purpose of this presentation? In this presentation, I will discuss the people, topics, and works, providing the intellectual foundation of my project. I will identify potential members of my writing community. I will briefly explain the accordion path of a recent writing project. I will talk about my plan on how I will intend to establish times dedicated to research and writing. I will also create uh, categories and alternatives within categories used to define my uh, scholarly work. And finally, I will elaborate on how my chosen project fit into the diamond. Who are the people, topics, and works of my chosen project? Um, the technology community is, is a huge portion of the people that are currently talking about the conversation or the topic that I'm interested in. Uh, business leaders, the government, uh, average individuals are interested in um, knowing more about uh, Bitcoin and digital currency and, and the impact that this technology may have in traditional banking. So some of the uh, the topics that are involved here are uh, Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin Foundation, uh, blockchain, digital currency, uh, regulations of financial institutions, because um, I guess that uh, according to some experts or some concerns is the regulations of, uh, of Bitcoin or digital currency because of the uh, anonymity of the systems. Uh, so the banking community is also obviously very interested in this topic. Uh, works. There are many uh, important works uh, that have been uh, written, that have been created about uh, Bitcoin. Uh, I chose here three that I found very interesting, but there are many more. And, and these are uh, some of the sources that I'm going to use as, the, uh, as I write my, uh, my project. Uh, a State of Bitcoin, Regulation and Radical Transparency by David Smith, uh, Selling Bitcoin to the DC Set by Paul uh, uh, Krugman, and Is Bitcoin a Real Currency? An Economy Appraisal by uh, David Yermak. Both um, Paul Krugman and David Yermak are very respected uh, economists and financial experts and uh, they are also uh, university professors who have written and researched extensively about this topic and uh, you could say that they are authority in this field. Who are potential members of my writing community? I have already started talking to uh, friends and, and family and, and co-workers and it is a very interesting subject. Uh, there is a huge amount of lack of knowledge about this subject. Even people that have been working in technology for uh, many years, when you ask them about Bitcoin, they have heard of it, they have probably read about it, but nobody understands exactly what it is, how it works, and, and, and how if it has the potential to disrupt the banking, how, how can that happen? So those are the people that I, I have actually already started talking uh, um, 
uh, about this. Uh, obviously, there are many technology experts that have written extensively about this topic. Uh, a lot of economists are really interested about this and financial uh, professionals in general, including um, the private, both the private sector and uh, the public sector, uh, the government and, and the like. The accordion path of a scholarship, uh, two key engines, two key components of the uh, accordion path are a brainstorming and decision making. So basically meaning that you have to brainstorm to get ideas, but eventually you're going to have to make a decision of what ideas, what topics you are going to choose. Um, most of the time in any brainstorming session you have more topics, more subjects, more idea than what you can actually use so you have to make a decision and um, uh, another important uh, component over here is that you have to be open to new ideas in conversation with friends, with family, in doing research when you're looking for the topic um, you may find things that you do not think to use and then you find that it's very interesting and you want to use that or um, you may find other topics that are more relevant or more important than you take out stuff that you have already used uh, in, in your project. Uh, the excitement of a scholarship often comes from the twists and turns of the accordion path and that's why this you know the name of it. So when you start basically you focus on research mainly and maybe write a little bit it's important to when you do some research you know write down your ideas you, you focus again research and writing it comes to a point in which the research uh, kind of lags behind a little bit and then now you concentrate on writing and the focus again it's more on writing and obviously uh, that becomes the, the final objective and, and that's why the name goes the uh, the accordion path. Identify time and places for writing. My home office is my best place for writing. I have all the equipment, tools and everything I need. Um, another important thing is that basically it's just uh, my wife and I and there's basically no interruption so to me this is the the best time to write obviously sometimes about work I think about something that's interesting and I write it down and also uh, I may think of a very interesting subject that I want to write down or do some research and if work permits, then I uh, yes, uh, I'm, I'm I'm guilty, Your Honor. So at work, sometimes I I do some research, I do some writing about my project. Uh, after work, uh, one of the things that I do and that I have found that is uh, it's very effective is that if I'm interested in a topic, uh, I can either record the topic or I can just go to YouTube and I listen to it as I drive. Uh, so basically, I'm, I'm studying when I drive and, uh, you know, sometimes I have to drive one hour, an hour and a half, you know, back uh, and forth uh, when I go to work. And I think that it is a very effective use of my time. Um, when I go to bed, uh, sometimes, again, I go to bed, ideas come to my mind. I usually have uh, a pen and a piece of paper. Uh, nearby so that if, if I think of something I write it down because if I don't write it down I may uh, forget it later on and and obviously uh, weekends uh, to me weekends is it's the best time even though I do uh, work almost every evening when I get from work but you know Saturdays and Sundays are also uh, especially when, when I'm around if I don't have any plans and and, and again uh, now, since I'm uh, finishing my MBA, there's not too much time for socializing. Uh, so the weekends, again, it's... Uh, so I would say that a combination between my home office and weekends, those are, you know, the, uh, the places and, and, and the best, you know, place and time to write uh, about my project. 
categories and alternatives. Here are other subjects, other alternatives that, um, as I was thinking about my project, um, I also thought about writing about robots and and uh, uh, what is the the state of robots today? Uh, could robots substitute uh, most manual jobs in the future? What is the impact that they have in the economy? Those kind of things I think that are really important. Uh, even though a lot of people have read about this and they know a little bit about this, but what is the future of of you know this technology? Uh, I think it's a very interesting topic, and again. Uh, it, it was, uh, it is in my possibility, but I think that Bitcoin to me is the number one. And the other one is uh, Facebook, social media, and even though social media is supposed to be so great, and the whole idea is to uh, socialize, and and according to psychologists, socializing is re socializing is really important for your health. But then there are many works, many studies that uh, suggest or basically that have been uh, proven that uh, uh, Facebook actually contribute to depression. A lot of people um, feel depressed after they have been navigating in, in Facebook for, for a long time. So is then Facebook good or, or bad for you? And how? How could it be bad? Um, has Facebook helped or damaged relationships? Yes, we have connected with friends, with peers, with old teachers. Uh, but at the same time, uh, and especially in my community, I know a lot of relationships, a lot of, uh, about marriages that have been broken because of Facebook. So uh, there is a contradiction about this uh, tool that is supposed to be great and to enhance people's lives, but in the other spectrum, it has actually destroyed lives. And, um, and to me, uh, the combination of the technology with the psychology it's a, a very interesting topic. So how does my subject fit into the diamond? Well, the, the four key components to the diamonds, the scholar, the field, the subject, and the portfolio. Uh, obviously, in this case, the scholar, that's me. Well, thank you. Um, so uh, how does that fit? Well, it fits because it is a subject that, first of all, I'm very interested in. There are many people, there is a lot of interest for this subject. And one of the main reasons why I chose this subject uh, among the other that I had uh, put in my list is because uh, Bitcoin is the subject that I know the least. So to me, it's going to be challenging because I want to learn more about it. Uh, and, and, and that was kind of like one of the key uh, reasons why I chose this project. And then the field. Well, um, I am in the field of technology. I, I have been working as a technologist professional for many years. So to me, obviously, this is interesting. But it's not only technology. It's basically the uh, technology, business, uh, society, I, I think that this subject covers everything and that um, almost every uh, person from a, a different aspects of life would be interested in understanding more about this subject. And um, so again, the, the, about the, you know, the, the field, in this case, the subject, the field, well, they're kind of related. So um, the field of technology and then the subject that I, that I chose over there. So I would say that technologies and business, uh, those are things that really interest me. And, and obviously, uh, my portfolio. Well, um, I guess that this is going to be one of, uh, one of my first writing. So even though I have written a lot of other uh, little essays for, during my, the course of my MBA, but uh, I guess that this is going to be my first uh, serious research work and, and therefore I don't have a portfolio but uh, I would say that my portfolio is the the um, uh, the alternatives that I have chosen and again so I, I think that this um, uh, this subject it, it's it's a very interesting subject and it fits right into the uh, critical diamond for evaluating the writing uh, or research alternatives. 
Okay, so we have come to the conclusion of this short presentation. What did we cover? We discussed the people, topics, and works uh, providing the uh, intellectual foundation of my project. I identified potential members of my writing community. I briefly explained the accordion path uh, of a recent writing project. I talked uh, talked about how I will intend to establish times uh, dedicated to research and writing. I created a short list of categories and alternatives within uh, categories used to define my uh, scholarly work. And finally, I elaborated on how my chosen project uh, fit into the diamond. Thank you for watching this presentation. I hope that you have found it interesting.